please welcome Dr. Frank Gaskill with his talk, Human 2.0, We Have Evolved. Asperger's is awesome. All right, Woo. all you humans, if you play with Legos or if you have a kid who plays with Legos, raise your hand and keep it up. If you have an iPhone, keep your hands up. If you're on Facebook, raise your hands. Look around, look at each other, congratulations. You're contrib contributing to a super being I call Humid 2.0. Today I have two messages for you. Message number one, Asperger's is awesome. It's not a disorder. And message number two, a new super being will rise and make all of you obsolete. <laughs> First, Asperger's is awesome. Super smart, obsessive, focused, not the best social skills. That's Asperger's. But let's imagine, if you're Aspie and you live in the early Middle Ages, where would you live? I propose you would live in a monastery with a bunch of dudes, a bunch of monks. And you'd be hanging out in this monastery, very smart, creative, not the best social skills, and what would you do? You would invent things. You might create a, a new version of the Bible. You'd build a telescope, discover a new planet, invent gunpowder, you'd do amazing things. But if you live there, how many parties do you get invited to? <laughs> I'd go with none, and if you do, it's a bunch of dudes. So you don't meet the ladies and you don't have the babies. So your genes die out, you're over. But let's think about if you live in the 1700s. What if you live then, where might you live? How about during the Industrial Revolution, maybe Philadelphia? And if you live in Philadelphia, what might you invent? How about the steam engine? You'd write the Declaration of Independence, found UVA. You'd do incredible things, discover electricity. And how many parties would you get invited to then? Quite a few. And you'd go to Europe and have a baby. And your name is Thomas Jefferson. And you're an economist, but you went bankrupt. You're an architect, you never finish your house. But you found UVA and you write the Declaration of Independence basically in one take. You are awesome, but you're Thomas Jefferson. You don't comb your hair, you walk around town with a bird on your shoulder, you wear bedroom slippers, you mumble your speeches to the point that people don't understand you. Social skills are not your gift, but your genes continue. Now let's go forward 1,500 years. What's your name? Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and where do you live with your 70 billion? Anywhere you want. <laughs> and how many parties do you get invited to? All of them, including dinner with President Barack Obama in 2009 with the head of basically everybody in Silicon Valley. How many parties do you get invited to? How many ladies do you make? Nope, meat. How many babies do you make? <laughs> this is Asperger's. It's my continuum, the lemon continuum. A glass of water, a glass of water with lemon on the side. Lemon f flavored water, lemonade at a lemon farm. Less and more, not good or bad. And many famous people fall in this continuum, including one of the top surfers in the world, Clay Marzo, Dr. Temple Grandin, Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Heather from Amer America's Next Top Model. Yes, it's true and Questlove from The Roots. They're Asperger's, they're awesome, and your dollars are encouraging this kind of mind. So, how does one get invited to this lemon party? <laughs> Message one, Asperger's is awesome. Message two, a super being will evolve. And his name is John. John loves Range Rovers and dinosaurs in geography. He can build Range Ro Rover engines and he's a New York Times best-selling author. He's also socially awkward, kind of blunt in what he says, but he's fascinating to talk to. And he meets Liz. Liz is a social worker, psychologist, or teacher. She's high social, and she enjoys talking to John because he's quirky and smart and enjoys the conversation, but she loves that he still likes Star Wars Legos and SpongeBob, but guess what? His tie's not straight. So this high social woman can care for him and straighten the tie and tell him what fork to use. That, don't wear that with that and don't say that in public. Don't be so blunt. And so they fall in love and guess what? They have the babies. <laughs> high social, high IQ woman, plus low social, high focus, high IQ man. Do this for 30 generations and I'll tell you what you have. You have Earth's future. This is a super being that is evolving. 
It's not Skynet. It's not the Terminator. It is one of us. Asperger's is awesome, and Human 2.0 is here. Tony Atwood once said, Asperger's, people don't suffer from Asperger's. People suffer from other people. But an Aspie once said, you know, there's this joke that Aspies are going to take over the world. Well, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's not a joke we already have. We just haven't told you yet. <laughs> Thank you. Asperger's is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>